In the Annalise Cambry, we are told that Arthur and Midward, or Mordred, preached at Camelot, but we are not told they were on different sides. Geoffrey of Monmouth informs us that Mordred was Arthur's nephew, the son of Arthur's sister Anna and her husband, Lot of Lothian. The dream of Ronway makes him Arthur's foster son as well as his nephew. Geoffrey asserts that when Arthur was away on his Roman campaign, Mordred seized Guinevere and the throne, thus paving the way for their final battle. Lemurier this historius claims Mordred survived the battle, only to be defeated by Lancelot, who executed Guinevere, doubtless because he thought she had willingly complied in being seized, and incorporated Mordred with her dead body, which Mordred ate before dying of starvation. In the earliest Arthurian legends, Mordred seems to have been regarded a hero. It wasn't until later stories that he becomes a William. The inkest motif in the story of Mordred's birth appears only literally. The earliest occurrence is in the Mort Arthur. In Mallory's version, Arthur slept with his half-sister Mornhaus, not knowing they were related and, as a result, Mordred was born. When Arthur discovered the whole truth, in an attempt to kill Mordred, he had all children born on the day of Mordred's birth set adrift. The ship carrying Mordred was wrecked, but he survived and was fostered by Nabur. As an adult, Mordred became one of Arthur's knights and was for a time a companion of Lancelot. He took the part of the Orkney family against the family of Pelennor, slaying Pelennor's son, Lamarack. When Arthur went to fight Lancelot, Mordred was left as Raiden in his absence. He proclaimed that Arthur was dead and then laid say to Guinevere, so Arthur's return became necessary. The name Mordred comes from Old World Medraut. It may be ultimately derived from Latin Modratus, meaning within bounds, observing moderation or moderate, with some influence from Latin Mors meaning death. The most of the author features the new iconic scene where the two meet on foot as Arthur Charles Mordred and runs a spear through him. With the last of his strength, Mordred implants himself even further to be within striking distance and lands a mortal blow with his sword to King Arthur's head. Mallory's telling is a variant of the original account from the Vulgate Mort Arthur, in which Arthur and Mordred both charge at each other on horses three times until Arthur derives his lance through Mordred's body but then fully withdraws it. A ray of sunlight even shines through the hole. Before Mordred so powerfully strikes his head and they both fall from their saddles. The alternative motive the author has Mordred graciously wound Arthur with the ceremonial sword Clarent, stolen for him from Arthur by his co conspirator Guinevere, but then Arthur slashes off Mordred's sword arm and brutally squares him up on the sword Excalibur. Thanks for watching. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.